Um, is... is anyone here? Over? Hi, this is a pre-recorded message. You've reached the Kamina High School Radio Advice Line. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you, have an okay day. I'm a little tired. <sighs> Should reach the window. This is going to take a while. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, is... is anyone here? Over? Hi, this is a pre-recorded message. You've reached the Kamina High School Radio Advice Line. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi, I don't know who that is, and an 8th grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. think they'd be twins. How'd you get in? You left your upstairs window open. I used your ladder. Oh, I left that open again. God, I'm gonna find a barn owl in there chewing on my pillow one of these days. Uh, the journal should be just over here. I know there was one where she talked about gates. Windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Just, uh, hang on. 
You got a phone call as I was heading down here. I didn't answer. Huh, kind of late to get a call, but okay. Oh, it's been at least an allergy season since I cleared out my answering machine. So that one's lost to the ages. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, this is it. One of the journals that belonged to Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake, that the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. It split the crewmen from our reality, forced them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone, but not really. Is uh, that why this is happening? Maybe. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. But, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. I mean, not that I, you know, blame them. I mean, it, it all just sounded insane. Okay, so let's say everything you're telling me is true. How does this help us solve this? Just look, this one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about, a woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates. And I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. I could barely understand what she was talking about. I was just a kid, you know? I could barely understand Jim. How, uh, how did our friend Anna die? She didn't really get into the details. Just that during an experiment, something went wrong. Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a portal or a gateway or whatever to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, of campfire stories, I guess. All right, so all of this happened in like the 40s or something, right? Why is this happening now all of a sudden? That portal over on Edwards Island? Whoever did that, I mean, I don't think it was an accident based on what we heard on the walkie. But just wait, there's more here. What we need is this guy. Uh, yeah, here it is. She writes, huh. Huh. Jacob, come on, what'd she say? Oh, yeah, sorry, she's... Uh, she, she says that harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See? See, so that's this. This is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. Th that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out the, the gate. So transmitters can diffuse the source signal. We can use them to stop it, based on what Maggie thinks, at least. So we use the transmitters then, right? Enough of them should knock out its power. Yeah, I think. I mean, we saw what the one did, which is definitely what we want to do. Because you know, Ma Maggie says she wrote here that, that gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence, which doesn't sound good. Man. Yeah, all right, I get the gist. I think bad stuff will happen. What's... what's next? The general store's holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? Because if that's the case... That's what Evelyn said. Yeah, they have my stuff. So I know the owner, and I know where the key is, so that's no problem. After that, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. So, for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that, it should work? Sounds like something that makes just enough sense that I'll go along with it until it doesn't work. That's about the level of confidence I'm at, too. Okay, uh, uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's get back to the general store, get those transmitters and gear. I just hope we're right. <laughs> Oh, it's hey, Evelyn, do you uh, see or like know how insane this is getting? Over. Riley! Riley, thank God! Okay, you're okay. Everything's okay. Okay, that's good. 
The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! And we figured it out with the power of science and uh, Jacob's knowledge of all this stuff. It just, just don't worry, we know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Ah, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. This is better. Thank God for small towns. All right, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Oh, and Jacob. Sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh no. Not, uh, not yet. You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. <laughs> Sorry, I... Uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but... I, I, I don't know. Ah, oh, poor baby. If she goes on walks by herself all the time, I'm sure she'll turn up. She probably got some doggy action and doesn't want to come home yet. <laughs> Maybe. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers he never moved the key. Just, uh, follow me. It's right here. Okay, key should be right under the mat. Real high-tech security, you know? Ah, I'm stealing gum. Happening. Hmm, but which one? Hell yeah. And grab me a pack. No, oh, screw it. Grab me two. Eh, I'm all talk. Besides, the amount of fake sugar in these things, I don't need to grow an eyeball on them. Before. Do we leave like a note or something? And what would this note say? Universe possibly collapsing, have effectively robbed you, hugs and kisses, steak and rye. There's the gear. Let's go. Mind if I take a look at the gear? A few more transmitters, and... Looks like a climbing rope, clasps, everything we'll need. Which, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part. Try not to think about it. Ugh. We'll be fine, Jacob. With the rope, it's pretty easy, honestly. Easy for some people. Now we're set. Anyways, let's just... Let's just focus on fixing it. We got our gear, we got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. We should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look at your map and let's pick where we wanna go.
right. Have an idea of where we're going? Uh, yeah, I think so. Doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. Olivia, Olivia Massel, are you there? Over. Oh, wait, hold up. Stay off the walkie. Olivia's at Garland, where the receptions are. Over and out. Olivia Massel? I thought she sounded familiar. Have you heard that name before? Massel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, well, the easiest way to say it is their cult. The Massels. A well-known group of nutter-butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. Her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. That weird thing on the trail path? That's them. Parentage, they call themselves. And there are stories about people disappearing. All right, Jacob, seriously, what are you suggesting here? Hey, I'm just saying what I know and what I've heard, and you can take it or leave it. I just, I, I think it's her. Hey, uh, Evelyn, I'm in Garland. Can you hear me? Over. Yeah, this is Evelyn. I'm at work. Who's this? Over. Uh, this is Riley. I I've been talking to you all night. Over. Yeah, sorry, I don't know Riley. Riley. And don't 
Call Maritime Emergency Dispatch unless you have a real emergency. Over and out. Man, I was really hoping to avoid this, but, uh, take a walk on the wild side, Jake. Oh, God. Oh, God of God. I'm proud of you, Jacob. You're a rock-climbing fool. Oh, I'm a fool, all right. But thanks. There's a weird-looking lock on the door. It might be a radio lock. One of those things that needs a calibrated radio to tune open. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. If we had a radio with a broader range, we could tune in its code and unlock it. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Well, I don't think we can get around. It'll be impossible to get in unless we find one of those radios. Ugh. Why is there always some kind of problem? Come on, we, we should go. We still have other transmitters and other locations we can plant in the meantime. Yeah, okay. Riley, you there? Over. Hello? Are you available? I have a request. Oh. Hey, Evelyn, what's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Evelyn, uh, how do I put this? This stuff, the, the portal above Edwards Island is really affecting just everything. It's hard to stay in one time and, and place here. Over. I know this sounds insane, but- No, I, I don't think you're insane, Riley. Our weather station and relay measurements are, well, the numbers are otherworldly, way off track from where they should be. Yeah, yeah, Jim, I know. Sorry, a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Just to get a reading straight? Yeah, Evelyn, that, that's fine. Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay, okay, I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. When they hired me for this, they said I was going to have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? And I said, all we can tell you is that she used to live here and then she moved away. And now she's moved back. And, and I remember thinking, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. Well, somewhere deep down in a place, maybe I didn't want to admit, I missed Kamina. Or... I I miss the feeling of having potential. You know you're in trouble. When the only conversations you ever have are with bartenders. Hey, you know your dad rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's the... how's he doing? 
still an electrician? It's been a minute since I've seen him in town. Yeah, he's not doing too well, to be honest. You know, he had me kind of late, so he's getting up there now. That was part of why I came back, honestly, to be a little closer to him. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, give him my best when you see him. Look, you, you you came back because you missed Kimina, and I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. But it's only the first day. I, who knows what tomorrow will be like? Thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. Sorry, uh, the rocks are a little slippery. <laughs> situation however you classify it come on don't give in to self-pity you can walk there's still you know oxygen in the atmosphere positive thinking it ain't just a fad it's brain science oh but self-pity is just so much easier but yeah yeah you're right last night i had a dream i was taking a walk and someone was approaching it turned out it was me. And like, n not a mirror, it, it was another me. Only, he didn't have a face. A and then I reached up to see if I did, but... Athena barked me awake before I could find out. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it just came to me right now. Just pops out of nowhere. Sorry. Super creepy. Yeah, it stuck with me for most of the morning. Anyway. Shake it off, Summers, right? <laughs> right. Ah, another anchor, see? We can climb down from here. Oh, goody. Ah, bit of a leap there. Uh, we could climb down here also. It might take a little longer. I just don't think we can make the gap, right? Or am I just not judging it correctly? Yeah, we should probably climb down, just to be safe. Yeah, definitely. Well, you're gonna have to go first, because if you... I think you would have broken every bone in your body if you tried to jump that. You could really see how long it is from this angle. Actually, you're probably right. So, we, we want to go up there, but the caves are pretty well connected. We follow this one through, should wind up somewhere on the other side. She admittedly isn't the prettiest plan, but she's the best we got. Uh, is this public use land, or...? Oh, yeah. This is, you know, we're, we're all in the park area. I don't think any of it's privately owned. Anyways, come on. Just this way, I think. <laughs> 